Hi, I'm Rocio Otero from Cooking Up Adventures, and welcome to part two of the best Thanksgiving turkey ever. It's just true. I'm not lying. Now, in the last video, I taught you how to make the amazing wet rub for this amazing turkey. Then I'm going to teach you what my mother does in the last step before she put the turkey in the oven. So what you're gonna need is some turkey. I bought a half turkey breast just for this video. The amazing wet rub and some achote or bihol. I'm going to season the turkey really quickly, but if you want to know the details, you can go to the video that I linked below on the best tasting baked chicken ever. Let's do this. Okay, there's a chance I might have overdone it, but it's turkey breast, like the driest meat on the planet. I don't think it'll suffer from too much wet rub. So once the turkey is completely covered in the wet rub, then my mother would put achote and bihol, like a food coloring, and I'll also put the link to the video so you can see how to make achote. Bihol, it's basically cornstarch, annatto seeds, and a little bit of cumin. It's much easier and you don't have to, you know, make it. It's just one step. I'm gonna cover half of the turkey with bihol and the other half with achote. Uh, so I just called my mother in New York to double check the achote situation and here's what she said. Tu antes usabas el achote? Oh my God, she's so not doing that anymore. I'm just here to pass on the tradition. You do what you want. First, we'll start with the achote. It is oily because it's made with olive oil. That looks like half. Another half would be one. You rub it in with your hands. So the turkey is now covered in achote and it does not go into the oven. Do not season your turkey and then just stick in the oven. No, please, especially if you're inviting me over to eat. Just don't do that. I'm begging you. I'm just going to marinate it in the refrigerator overnight and I'm going to bake it tomorrow night. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I'll say gobble, gobble, gobble. So we're back. It's the next night. I took the turkey out of the refrigerator about 45 minutes ago because you don't want to take it directly from the fridge into the oven. So I set the oven for 325 degrees and now I'm going to let this turkey bake for about an hour. Can't wait till this is done. I'll see you in an hour. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. It's been an hour. I'm lying. It's been about an hour and a half. It smells like Thanksgiving goodness. The moment of truth. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, it's so sizzling. It's so pretty. Oh my god, look at this turkey. Normally, I would let this rest, but it's late and I want to taste it. Mmm, this is so good. Mmm, I am so grateful. And it looks good, right? I hope you get to try this recipe this year. Let me know how it goes. Be sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone that you think would enjoy it too. I'm Ruthie Otero from Cooking Up Adventures and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.